Hi everybody. I have a kind of a coloring, uh, a, the coloring books for grown-ups haul for you. Um, some of them, I got some today and most of them I've gotten like, well, most of them I got today. But, um, some of them I had ordered online. Some of them I picked up, every time I go to Joann's I use a Michaels coupon. Um, there because my Michaels is an hour away and Joann's is only like, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes from me. So I just use the Michaels coupons at Joann's because Michaels does not allow you to use your 40 or 50% off coupons on their books. So I just use them at Joann's because they'll take competitor coupons and they do allow you to. So anyway, um, this one I picked up today, this is from Barnes and Noble and it is the Posh Coloring Pretty Designs. Um, I had a 15% off coupon at Barnes & Noble plus the membership discount. So it just has like flower, flowers and uh, like paisley kind of patterns. So I got that one. It was like with all the discounts and stuff I think it came up to like $8.99 or something like that. And then I've been wanting this one is why I went into the store today. <clears throat> it's the Anamorphia one and I've been wanting this one and it was um I think about $8.99 as well or, or $10 but <clears throat> it is the one where the animals kind of morph into other things you know there's like kind of like hidden pictures within the animals I guess you could say but let's see like okay here's the the bird or the peacock or whatever but then there's like pumpkins and ghosts and you know all, all different kinds of little images to color different colors or whatever inside the tail of the bird um and then like on this one there's another bird and then there's all this stuff in the tail even a rubik's cube <laughs> So, I wanted that one. So that would be really cool. And then I picked this one up at Walmart um, a couple days ago. It's the Fairies coloring book. My Walmart doesn't get a lot of these. They'll, they'll have some, and then, you know, they'll have like three or four different ones, and then they don't have them for like two weeks, and then they get a couple more. I don't know. But anyway, they had Fairies, and... I thought this would, I like doing the flowers the most um and I thought this would be really cool too since the flowers or petals and stuff are so big and the leaves I thought it would be kind of a good book to try the shading because I still need to really work on the shading part I can't get it like some some of these people that can color I mean they really get into the shading and stuff and it's really really pretty I just can't I'm not there yet so I thought this one since they were so big that um, I could really kind of practice in this one with the shading so there's that one it was like seven dollars I think seven eighteen and then I picked this one up at Walmart that same day it's the mandala and these are just fun to color whatever you know you don't have to think about what color you need to make the you know the flowers petals are always green and it's just this these kind you can just have fun with colors so I got that one and then um, oops. and then at, when I was at Joann's like I say I, every time I go there I take one of the coupons and pick up a book and I got this one it's actually a color by number so, and they're pretty big too, so I can kind of practice in the shading too. And then, um, the color, the number key is right here on the front cover. So those, and then here's some of the pictures that are done. So there's the color coding and that's the, for the whole book. Although you don't, wouldn't have to go by it. You could do whatever color you wanted to. 
Um, and then I was at Sam's today. Um, we stopped in there to get some groceries and, or, you know, some food stuff at Sam's. And I found this. And this one is huge. It's a book of dot to dots, which when I was a kid, I, you know, loved coloring then. And the dot to dots in the coloring books were always a lot of fun. Um, so I picked this up. But these are more, I mean, these are, there's a lot of numbers in there. So, I mean, it's, it is directed more towards an adult. But, I don't know, I, I mean, I think a kid could do it too if they wanted to. Learn the numbers, but anyway, I just picked that up for fun to just... Because, you know, when you go back to coloring, it just reminds you of being back in the... Anyway. And then at Sam's, I found this one. And it is a word search. I'm sorry. The dot to dot was $8.84. And then this one was $9.88. And it's a um, an actual really thick hardback word search book. Which I have never seen a hardback one. But they're... Um, you know, big letters. It'll take you like two seconds to do a puzzle. Or it does me anyway. But, um, anyway, so I picked that up just to have something different to do. And then, um, today in the mail when I got home, I had an order from, um, Barnes & Noble that I had placed online. And I'd ordered this one. It's just a mega coloring book for grown-ups, $8.98. And it's a really thick one, too. And a lot of these really thick ones, as long as with the page is not perforated, I take them to, um, I take them to Staples, and they will unbound it, you know, take, take the glue binding off, and they will spiral bound it for you. Um, I think I had one done about the same size, and it cost me like $6.00. Which, if you're trying to color, you know, one side and the book keeps flipping back because it's so heavy, trust me, it's worth it. But these are one-sided pages and it's just kind of a mixture of all kinds of, all kinds of pages, all kinds of things to, a lot of the mandalas and, you know, flowers and just all kinds of fun stuff. So I picked that up, and that was um, from online. But I placed the order because I wanted this one. This is the Candy Crush adult coloring book. And um, I did not see, when I was in the store today, I did not see this. So I'm glad I ordered it online. But it's the Candy Crush, if anybody, I've never played the game online. But, I mean, who doesn't want to color candy, right? So, yeah. It's just a whole bunch of really fun candy that I assume is in the game. I don't, I don't know, because I've never played it, but, but I thought it'd be fun. Who doesn't want to color candy? They're cute too. So I just want to share that with you. My my coloring book mega haul, <laughs> I guess I'll call it. Um, I like I said, I've always loved coloring, and you know, who cares? It's I do get kind of, um, the heat for it, I guess you could say, or not really made fun of, but teased about coloring because honestly, before these adult coloring book things started like, you know, really hitting the market and becoming popular, I would go to Dollar General and buy kids coloring books and color in those because I just, I love doing it. Um, you know, and my kids would make fun of me, mom, you're coloring I don't care. I guess there could be worse things to do. So, but now it's like the cool thing. So I don't mind, you know, share, sharing it with people. But, um, anyway, I just wanted to share those books with you and, um, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys are having a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.